What's that? I said you, I need your license, registration, proof of insurance, and also the reason on why we're running red lights and speeding. Westbound, 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 westbound. Let's go. Come on. Pick it up, Explorer. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We're going to be in the city again, but this time in the PIU. I realized I've never driven this one in the city. Um, we do have it available to us, so we are going to rock this one out today. Um, it's got a pretty cool light pattern on it. Um, it's a little... The sun's coming up right now in game, so uh, nothing's really popping out, but uh, this thing's pretty cool. I do, uh, I do dig it a lot. I'll show you the backside real quick. It's even got the yellow on there. Yeah, as you can see the sun. It's getting a little crazy, but this thing's just uh, overall a uh, really nice vehicle. So we're gonna rock this thing out today um, and trying to have a little fun. So let's get on the clock and get out there. Nope. Gonna run a red light like that. Come on, get out of here. Let's write down this plate real quick. 22 M I V 661. Like it's only occupied times one. Three tango 39 10 11. When ready? Three tango 39 10 11 636 West Eclipse Boulevard. Uh, four door sedan, occupied times one, uh, no 32s. Oh, wait, 636 West Coast Boulevard. I'm gonna uh, run a plate real quick. Occupied times one, no 32. 21, uh, Run the plate real quick just to see what it shows before I approach. Christopher Jenkins, not reported stolen. One arrest. Felony evading. And window tent. Oh, okay, cool. See, uh, we have to say, it looks like you got the tint fix. How we doing? Hello, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Oh, doing lovely. Corporal Sean with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office. Reason for a stop today is you're blowing through that red light and speeding. Yeah. Okay. Um. What do you need from me? My license, registration, proof of insurance, and also the reasoning as to why we're doing that. What's that? I said you're, I need your license, registration, proof of insurance, and also the reason on why we're running red lights and speeding. One Charles. Uh, assignment. Route out. Trying uh, to get somewhere. Seven, okay. Seven. Mr. Jenkins. Be advised at robbery in progress. Call to report to the individual came in. And uh, uh, where are you headed today? Because it looks like you're all kind of decked out and you're driving a car with a helmet. Nowhere in, Nowhere in particular. Nowhere in particular. Okay, just casually riding around, dressed in, like you're going to play paintball. Yep. All right. Cool. All right. We'll sit tight for me. All right. Don't I know it? Hmm. Hmm. There was a car that was passing me earlier that wasn't wearing a seatbelt, and this might have been him, but I'm not sure. But we're gonna run his name real quick. Christopher Jenkins, it is the ID he gave me to is somehow got a name or his picture <laughs> on his license. Christopher Jenkins. Oh, he's got quite a few arrests, felony evading, felony evading, petty theft, and speeding. Okay. No warrants. No warrants. No revoked. No suspended. Oh. All right. So let's get a citation going here. Okay. Let's see. Responsibility at a red light. It's eight eleven. And then speeding. It was actually twenty over, but we'll do this one. 
All right. Let's go give him this and he can uh, be on his way. 1070, 1070. All right, Mr. Jenkins, I'm going to have two citations here for you today. One's for the red light and the other one's going to be for speeding, okay? I'm just going to need you to sign the bottom of that citation. It's not being killed. It's just saying you're taking care of it in court. All right, let me hand you your copy and your ID and you'll be free to go. All right, thank you so much. It's over. All right, there you go. Take it easy. Stop uh, writing red lights, okay? Yeah. All right, so that's going to... Oh, God, traffic's just all backed up behind me now. Let's pull over to the side of the road so we can get them cleared up. So hopefully they go around me now. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So wait a minute. So I'm typing some notes in here because there's a pursuit going on and I'm looking at a bolo. Suspect last seen wearing camo pants, black shirt with a motorcycle helmet with a glossy visor on helmet. I mean, we just had a guy I thought it was weird driving the vehicle with a motorcycle helmet and camo. This is literally issued two minutes ago because we're at 2020 Zulu right now. This was at 2018 Zulu. Suspect ran inside clothing store at 703 and threw a Molotov result and then building fire. Where the hell is 703 compared to where we are right now? Oh, that's way down over here. Why would he be going all the way in and come here and uh, maybe that's not him? I don't know. Um, so we're just putting the notes in here for our um, dispatcher. I'm putting all caps. All right. So we put in here for the notes since there's a signal 100. Can't get over the radio. Um, Two citations issued, uh, drivers Christopher Jenkins with license plate and back 10 8. And that was a unit that went by. I'm glad I saw that. Uh, because there's some kind of pursuit going on. So we're going to be back 10 8. And uh, so let's see what else we can get into. I don't even know what kind of vehicle they're looking for. Wait a minute. Wait, was that vehicle that passed me a stolen cop car? Seven four three Nipping. I don't know if it's a stolen cop car. I'm wondering if that car that went by when I was looking at my cat was a stolen cop car. <laughs> All right, just got attached to something here. Potential arson attack on LTT at 581. Caller reported potential trap civilians 581. 581. All right. Well, let's head that way. Potential. Road 2 Tango 56. 3 Tango 39. Equal 7. 581. 581. Fire EMS assist. In route 4 Asia fire assist for traffic control. Timer. Okay, so it's a traffic um, control assist. So we're going to get there and uh, see what we can do here. Oh, this looks like it's the one in uh, Mirror Park. So we should, uh, we're just about there. We weren't too, we weren't too terribly far away. We were kind of sitting right in the smack middle of the uh, city here. Sure, we're not hitting anybody. Oh yeah, I can see the smoke. I can 100%. Oh yeah. All right, so we're blocked off here. Um, we don't have any fire units on scene. All right, so we're just gonna have to wait for fire to get on scene um, and start attacking it. Um, I didn't see any. Like like I said, I only had the two locals on the outside. I'm not seeing anybody on the inside. Unless they're in that back room, that fire looks like it's behind the counter. Double traffic Enjoy. control.
I'm sorry, what's that, ma'am? Oh, no, I'm just talking about the car there. No, no, I'm talking to this local that just ran up to us from the skybox. Wait, oh. Something about the gray car at... Um, Mornings? Yeah, that one behind us? Oh, really? I do. Okay. I mean, okay. Witness. I mean, yeah, we're going to still. We're still going to try and get some CCTV and stuff on that. Yeah. All right. So apparently, we have a local that's talking to us right now that says that uh, the vehicle that I had on my traffic stop earlier is the one that showed up because it totally looks like him. I could see him from here with this helmet on. Um. Apparently, he went in there and threw a Molotov. She replies, "Yes." That the owner probably can also tell you the same thing. Do any of these businesses over here have any type of cameras? No, nothing. I bet you she goes over to the owner and he walks over and asks him if that's the guy. And he said, yeah, he's the one. Okay. We've got a couple people now stating that, uh, that's going to be our guy. Now he's just driving through the closed scenes. Yeah. Hey, that unit down there, 575, can you stop that vehicle? Because I got two locals saying that uh, that vehicle that just pulled up in front of you is uh, involved in this fire. Nope. Yep. No. And then he just lets him drive by? Nope, he's going for it. Okay, perfect. We're down one traffic control. Yeah, that unit. I got a, a local and the owner uh, stating that he was involved, uh, ran inside and threw the Molotov at it. I think this is going to be our Bolo suspect, too. So we're going to head over there. Our unit that originally called it out. Wait, how could you drag? Name uh, search. For this Christopher Jenkins. Confirm you said ten eight. How could you metallic white? Okay, he even owns it. So I think this is gonna be our guy. I think this is gonna be the oh, one from good. the bolo. As well. I've been involved with this vehicle already before. Um, and one thing after I let him go from his prior citations that I thought was interesting is that he's actually matching what he's wearing. He's matching our Bolo suspect. Okay. And he also owns, when you look up his name, he owns a Hakachu. He's dressed in camo yeah. and has a helmet on, and that bolo is for arson. Okay. Um, would you like to code five? Control I don't know about code five, line, but two, maybe we can one, see if we can step out, two. and then we can start questioning them. New call, call number two oh, eight six three four zero four eight nine Didion Drive. Be advised, no one called reports his truck is stuck with his trailer potentially on top of a building nearby. All lanes of traffic have been blocked. The truck, hey there. Uh, uh, yeah. be, uh, uh, the Super Hernandez with the Department of Public, Public Safety. Can I have your license uh, registration for insurance? What crime did I commit? Uh, we believe you were uh, nearby a fire down the, the uh, LTD right here. You were taking off from the scene. We just want to have a chat with you outside your vehicle. Did you ID everyone else that was there? Yeah. I mean, everyone involved. All right, thank you. And would you mind stepping out of your vehicle? Uh, uh, to have a chat with yeah, us. I, I would mind. 
Why is that? I just I don't want to step out of my car. Yeah, we just want to have a chat with you about the situation. Um, there's a fire right now in, at the LTD and we want uh, to know if, if you know anything about it. I know, so... I think I might gave you the wrong ID. Can I get that back? His tent got darker since last time I've seen I'm him. sorry? I think I might have gave you the wrong ID. Can I get that back? You have more than one ID? I gave you the wrong ID. Can I get that one back? I mean, aren't you uh, Christopher Jenkins? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but that's not the that's not the the that one's expired. I, I have a newer one. So if you give me that ID back, that'd be great. You have multiple IDs on you that you hand out? Nah, the, the other one's voided. The one I handed was voided. It's voided. Because I got a I got a new issued license. Three Tango 39 control. All right, so uh, we have to speak with you outside your vehicle, so I'm going to ask I'll, you to I'll step speak, out. I'll speak right here. All right, if you don't step out, we're going to have to make you step out, okay? What do you, what do you know right now? Three Tango 39, can I get the air unit overhead at our stop at 580? Um, we have one times um, non-compliant. Plus, he's also matching our boloed suspect from a prior arson, um, and he's been stopped. He's on this stop now because he was right, spotted by on, locals to have committed this current arson. Don't, don't make it harder for us no, and for I'm, you. I'm It'll be harder for out. you as well. Yeah, you gotta step out, please. It's it's an order now. Nope. We take a three nine. Let's also start one more unit. Romeo three two. Right. Why don't you want to? You rolled the window up. I got time. Come on, man, what, you're not going anywhere. Wait, what idea did he give you, by the way, that he kept asking back? Oh, it's, uh, his name is Christopher Jenkins. Okay, yep, yeah, that's the name I had on the stop earlier. Well, the window down. No, nope. 1080. Damn it, I knew it. Air 53 vehicles taking off southbound Glory Way, post off 589. Here we go. Turn third. That's definitely our guy. Damn, they are booking it. Vehicles taking the westbound Del Perro Freeway exit, post off 611. Westbound, 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 westbound. Let's go. Come on. Pick it up, Explorer. Let's go. That car is taking off. Going underneath the freeway. All right, so eastbound, also nine two zero. Travels, vehicles traveling eastbound, so we're gonna try and cut them off this way, um, because they took a turn that we didn't see, because we had to stop for another vehicle and make sure they were okay. Should be coming this way. Yep, there he is. Vehicles flipping around, post 800. It's going to be taking the on ramp uh, opposite lane. Got him. And we making a left westbound labor place 790. Got him. We primary. We did. We went. We, we made the right turns. Taking a right northbound Orchard Drive. We made the right turns, and now we're primary, and we got right behind him. Man, those those air callouts are great. The spotlight's helping. My car's not fast enough. Okay, so we're just going to continue staying behind him here. He is moving. All right, spotlight's off. He's blacked out now as well. Continuing Innocence Boulevard, 827. 
This dude is carousing, dude. He hasn't gotten super reckless yet, but we do have his info. Three nine, do we have eyes? Ten four, he flipped around. He's gonna be headed eastbound on the I two. Oh jeez. Eastbound on the I two. All right, so we're back up near the uh, the spot of the crime, just because um, we ended up losing eyes but we've got warrant units on so we're gonna probably go back to uh we're probably just gonna get a warrant out for their arrest um we lost eyes we we had to stop for a minor situation that was 22 so we're just gonna be back here check on everything see how it's going hey how's, how's it going here uh pretty good uh just about to open uh traffic here Oh, okay. Until we roll up for it and wait till fire goes off, then I'll permanently open it up for them to start rolling through. Don't want to hit or anything. Status check. Yeah, so that was totally our guy then. Yeah, it looks like, it definitely yeah. looks like it. We just lost eyes though, so. Yeah. He's in one of those fast cars that you can never get. Yeah, yeah, it's think like a souped up sports Cadillac. Oh, most definitely, yeah. You know, so it's like I. I, I made a couple wrong turns, but then all of a sudden I'm like right behind him in primary and then he just took off and make another turn. He blacked out and then they turned the spotlight off. So then I lost eyes. I'm like, okay, great. And then we like, he did the, you know, the tunnel trick there on the two. So no, we just kind of lost eyes, yeah. but we have all of his information. I had stopped him earlier. So we have his Lucky plate. We, we know his ID so we can get a warrant out for uh, arson and uh, oh, evading. Yeah. Well, he's going to get what's coming. Oh yeah, hundred percent. All right, so uh, we're gonna speak with the owner here real quick, see if we can't get any more information, and then uh, we actually have the ability to file a warrant. So I think we are going to do that as well. So, um, yeah, let's get this going. Uh, all right, so they found the vehicle, so we're gonna head over to the vehicle. It's abandoned right now. Um, we were following our warrant requests, but we're going to, uh, we are going to go head down to that vehicle and see, uh, if there's anything left in it that would help our case in terms of the evidence. Um, we're just going to go to code two. We also don't know if the individual is close or not. So we're going to head down, see if we can find anything in it that would even link also to the arson, whether it be liquor bottles, red clothes, gasoline, to help our, uh, our file for the warrant. Um, you said he's in the parking garage down here. Uh, let's see. The owner brings up video on his phone, shows a male in tan pants, shirt, army styled vest, and a bike helmet. Uh, with gloves come in, throw a single Molotov cocktail in the store. Okay. So, it did. Okay, so we're going to continue following our warrant. There's Molotovs in the vehicle. Yeah, Molotov cocktails. 
Well, yeah, no, I don't, I don't mean the cocktail oh, part. I know what Molotov off is. I just want to make sure you said they were in the vehicle. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. How many, how many Molotovs did you say you saw? Six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so I've got Christopher Jenkins was across the street from the LTD 580 that was on fire. LTD owner provided CCTV of Mr. Jenkins coming in and throwing a single Molotov into the store and then leaving. Mr. Jenkins was stopped on a 1011, was uncooperative, and then proceeded to take off on a 1080. Uh, pursuit went around the city before losing eyes. Uh, vehicle was ditched in a parking garage at 747 where he appeared to have changed clothes. Upon search of the vehicle, six Molotovs were found inside. All right, so... The vehicle has been picked up. We were sitting there. We um, we filed our warrants. So we, oh man, now there's a big old rainstorm going on. This is beautiful. Um, so you know what? I think uh, that's where we're gonna call it because now it's just super loud in the game because of a thunderstorm. So we're gonna drive back to the station. Um, so it was all right. We had our one traffic stop. I mean, the whole episode was with one guy, so. Got him a traffic stop, was to be able to confirm all of his identity, and then we stopped him again. And he just took off, probably not knowing that we were right there, and we've had all of his information before he even gave it to us. He handed his uh, his proper ID, I guess, to the law enforcement, asked for it back. He was probably going to then hand a fake ID, um, kind of screwed that up. Um, but, you know, we've got his car, we don't have him, but we'll just file a warrant, and hopefully uh, it gets approved. So. Appreciate you guys coming out and checking this episode. I'm going to go get out of the rain, and we will see you guys in the next video.